Okay, so it's day like 73 now. I'm so cold. I'm so hungry. And I just got back from the parts store. So I picked up a few things, flash a relay, a couple more terminals to get onto this bad boy. Um, also got some pinch weld, now that's gonna cover up one of my fuck ups. And while I was down there, I picked up a couple of grommets and this one, which is going to replace this one just here. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's cracked and very old. So there's a good chance there's some boost leaking from there. So that's what this is for. Um, starting to put all the pedal assembly back. Um, and there's going to be a bit more put the the main dash bar back in and just running some more wires still got to get on to neatening all this up I'm not happy with it at all so I hardly ever get a perfect solder joint so I'm absolutely stoked I mean like check that out that's that's up there there's something pretty good I'm happy with that I like that I just seen that. I was bringing the seat over. I don't know if it's gonna look any good because of the lighting and stuff. It just looked killer. Something about shit drift car, some average lighting, and just yeah, it looks cool. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out. Battery clears seat. Check. Now to mount battery. Seven number one. Mount battery box to floor using tech screws from a garage door. This has obviously been previously marked out and all the spots marked. Gangster! One. And I might put a second one in there just to be on the safe side. Pro tip. Don't, don't take a million tries to get this done. Nobody's ever to look at how many holes are underneath this battery box, but it is fucking mounted solid and it is not going everywhere. Now, move on mounting the battery. So we've got approximate positions of where we want our bracket mounts to go. So now it's just a matter of fucking drilling the cunts fucking straight in there. Okay, while I'm doing this, I just want to point out that there was absolutely no research put into this at all. I am 110% freestyling as I fucking go. I'm going to fucking kick myself fucking later. But, you fucking get that. You fucking get that. For some stupid reason, these tabs brackets here use a half inch UCF which is fucking stupid because in Australia we don't fucking use that shit okay so here we are day number I can't even remember I can show you guys where we're at okay so this is our major fuse panel still needs a bit of work to be finished off but hopefully that'll get done today Breno's coming around again hopefully we can smash it all out um, ran into a few problems. I originally wanted to mount this here, flush up against that beam there. Um, and then start switch and the, just just everything seemed to be really in the way. So in order to combat that, I'm just going to offset it like that. That goes there, sits on a bit of an angle. I think it actually looks a fair bit better now that it's on an angle like that. And everything clears. This is actually mounted into the parts of the chassis itself. That's not going nowhere. This is gonna be mounted in there. And I'm actually super happy with how this is all coming along.
Okay, so where are we at? It's a Tuesday. The car still doesn't run. But it does this. So we have a crank but no fire. At this point, I'm completely lost in what's going on. Running all the wiring, all that stuff, I get. Putting it towards the ECU and stuff like that, that's way out of my league. So, Bredo's gonna come round, he reckons he's only got a half day of work, and then hopefully we're gonna get this motherfucker started. But, while I'm waiting for him, probably gonna be stripping off some more of that sound ending. Fuck. Okay, so before I get too far into it, what I want to do is there's there's lots of these bits of rust. There is just absolute surface rust all over this boot, especially down here. This is rusted, surface rusting really badly. I'm gonna take it all back to bare metal, just like I've done that bit, and I'm just gonna throw some etch primer over it because I've actually got really big plans. But in here, like what you're gonna do, really big plans with some tubing, sick. seen the grinder with some fresh 40 grit sandpaper flap disc on it just makes absolutely short work of all that again not gonna worry about this just gonna just gonna paint it she be right she be right look at that look at that just look at, it. Just look at that And the finished product. I actually think this primer, edge primer, comes out really nice. Looks quality. 
I'm happy enough with that, but I'm glad I'm putting a, a big something something in here. Cut all this fucking junk out. Obviously, we'll rip all this seam, seam sealer out um, when it comes time to stitch weld the car. Probably won't be before Matsuri, probably be just after. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my new welder soon and then starting to do a bit more fabrication. So it's just really just this bit here that's left to go now. Um, I think I will do that at a later stage once all the wiring's done, but see how we go. The tape's rolling, man. Fucking ch -ch boom. Battery sorted. Oh, yeah.